This is the Gator Frameworks Boom Stand. It retails right now for $129.99, but is it worth that rather high ticket? Can we just use something different? Well, let's take a look at some of the specs when it comes to the Gator Frameworks Boom Stand. It is the 3000 series that you're seeing here, and they claim that it rotates up to 360 degrees with minimal noise. <coughs> There's a good reason why I'm coughing and it's not to clear my throat. It's the fact that there is definitely some moaning and groaning, but it's rather minimal. And considering you shouldn't have to move it too often, I would think that you're not gonna hear any of that. Uh, and then let's just think about the fact that there is an embedded 10 foot XLR cable that goes into the framework itself. So that means that you're trying to rotate that around 360 degrees and keep doing that eventually your XLR cable is going to be wrapped up all around the framework's frame. And speaking of the 10 foot XLR cable, it's pretty nice. I mean, I've got it right here on the desk and my source for sending it to the PC is right here as well. So 10 foot might be a little bit of an overkill for me, but I would rather have too much XLR footage than not enough. And they also have what's called spring loaded articulating arm. So this actually can hold up to about four and a half half pounds, actually a little less than that is what they say for max weight capacity, and it can extend up to 32 and a quarter inches in total. It easily clamps to just about any types of desks, tables, or similar surfaces, so long as it does not exceed 2.17 inches, because that's the widest that the clamp is gonna go down on it. And it easily mounts most any types of microphones for both podcasting, live streaming, or even recording YouTube videos such as this. And this is the Shure SM7B. It fits perfectly. If you've got a microphone, a good professional one, then chances are likely it probably came with a mount on it that it can easily just get onto the thread here and it's set. And the total weight for this boom arm is about 3.4 pounds. So I went ahead and ordered it on Amazon and it was sent to me in about a few days. It came with the desk mount, which that initially I looked at it and I go, oh my gosh, it was a mount to where you screw it into your desk. So it was for permanent placement only. I just went ahead and put that off to the side. I don't think I'll ever need to do that, especially with this clamp. But in the event that you don't have something for the clamp to clamp down onto, then this mount would probably be for you. And of course it came with the mic boom with the desk mount clamp already set to that. That's what I'm currently holding onto the mic boom right now. And of course I mentioned the XLR cable that's built in and it's ready to rock and roll. It's ready to go right out the box. I really like that. And the assembly and setting it up was, I mean, dead simple. Honestly, you could have probably done it blindfolded. Here's the pros and cons when it comes to the Gator Frameworks boom stand. Okay, so the pros, it is easy to adjust into place. I mean, if I wanna move it up, I can move it up. If I want to bring it down, I can bring it down. If I want to move it this way, I can move it this way. It's somewhat shock absorbent, but you're going to probably have to be a better judge because based on what you just heard as I was moving this around, you might hear a little bit of creaking and groaning. And the other nice part is the built-in XLR cable. And it seems like it has good shielding on it. In other words, you're not gonna be picking up the local FM radio station or someone's walkie-talkie on your signal here. So it, that shielding is really, really good. I don't know if the framework is actually shielding some of this XLR cord, but either way, I don't hear any interference with it whatsoever. And that's gonna be important because to me, the XLR cable, they could have cheaped out on that. And the problem that you would run into is then you'd have to get a separate XLR cord and plug that on in. Big kudos to that one there, Gator. But now let's talk about the cons because it's not all sunshine, rainbows, and unicorns. Yeah, it's a bit creaky at the elbows, all right? Any of the joints here, you start to move, it's gonna and the way to get around that is you actually have to loosen it up and then it'll kind of unload the spring tension and it starts to drop down. So you have to still get a little bit of the creaking in the process. The next thing is, it's an inconvenient placement of the XLR plug right here. If I wanted to turn my microphone this way over towards this direction, I'm gonna have to actually adjust the microphone itself and not the stand because 
it's built to where the microphone comes out towards this direction. So you see for the XLR right here, I can't turn it this way because there's a knob on this side. I can't turn it here because it'll get stuck there and it'll push the XLR cable out. So I didn't really like that. And it could be a bit more shock absorbent. Maybe my expectations are a little bit too high, but it would be nice if I was doing a podcast and I felt like moving the stand, it wouldn't be groaning and creaking and creating some weird sound during the recordings. But you know, all that to say this, a big thumbs up, it's definitely worth the purchase. There is more details in the link in the description down below. And by the way, I actually have a full video where I talk about the Shure SM7B, why I love it, why it's a little bit of higher price, but it is absolutely worth it. Take a look at it, this VEX video. I'll see you there.